I'm at the Patapsco River, Daniel's Dam, and today I'll be teaching you how to catch trout from a river or creek. Just like bass fishing, when I'm fishing for trout, I like to start with a uh, moving bait. Right now I'm using a Panther Martin um, inline spinner, and I like to cover some water just to see what kind of mood the fish are in. When looking for a prime trout water, you always want to look for deeper, slower moving water right after fast, shallow water. So right here we have some fast, shallow water, some riffles, and it moves downstream right into this uh, deep, slow pool right here. And this kind of area is exactly where trout like to stack up and just wait for food to get washed by and they can ambush it and they won't have to spend a lot of energy sitting in these uh, deeper pools. How I like to fish a deep pool like this is to cast the bait out and slowly retrieve it with the current for a nice natural presentation. And the nice thing about a spot like this is if you catch one or two trout, you can come back later in the day and a lot of times it'll reload with a couple more fish. There's one. All right. Oh, nice trout. They're just moving downstream from the dam. Fishing uh, riffles right there. There's a slower pool coming right through here. Got this beautiful trout. So if you guys are a catch and release trout like this, you want to make sure you wet your hands before handling it. This guy's really aggressive. Oh, quick release. That made it easy. Oh, right, well, there he goes. That's about, I don't know if you can see him. He's in the water right there, just chilling. Uh, he's about a 13 inch trout, but got him in the spinner, just slow retrieve, right across the current, came up and nailed it. So we just got that trout. What I'm doing is, just like uh, I pointed out that slow pull ahead, I'm doing the same thing. I'm finding these riffles. I'm fishing the slow pull of water that I'm moving on. So there's some riffles right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that slow pull after it. And I'll just keep working my way down and looking for those fish hanging in those uh, slower pools, looking to feed. I'm exploring the area a little bit. And right now all I'm seeing is a uh, lot of flat water, not moving very fast, very shallow. So I'm thinking this, unless I find some deep holes, I'm probably just gonna stop exploring uh, down the river and uh, go back up to the dam and show you guys how to catch uh, some trout on power bait. There's one. I told you guys I'd catch one out of here. Came back, throwing a little blade bait. Beautiful trout. Go ahead and dip my hand in the water. Beautiful rainbow right here. Oh, there it goes. Quick release again. Let's see if I get my hand on it. Check this out. Got him. That's how we noodle a rainbow trout. Beautiful trout right here. Beautiful colors. Got him on the, uh, the Mickey Volt. Quarter ounce blade bait, imitate a minnow. Oh, all right, there it goes. When all else fails, I go to power bait, never lets me down. Here's how I like to rig it. A little split shot, about a 10 inch leader, six to 10 inch leader. And today I'm using a side stick hook. Let's uh, rig it up. So I'll pull out a good amount of bait of uh, dough. I'll uh, mold it around the hook. Try to mold it tight on there because it has a tendency to, uh, to slip off. Just like that. And before casting it out, one thing I like to do is I like to dip it in the water. That kind of coagulates it and helps it stay on the hook a little better, I found. So I'm going to go ahead and cast it. Get the spider off my uh, line. Alright, he's on there. Alright, whatever. Oh, I don't know if you guys see this spider. is all over my rod right now. Go away. Alright, that did the trick, I think. Alright, so you want to cast it as close as you can to the dam. Now it's perfect, right underneath it. Let it sink all the way to the bottom on a pretty much slack line. Then once it hits the bottom, reel up the slack. And uh, just keep your eye on the line, keep your uh, pay attention, because the bites can be really light sometimes. Sometimes you won't feel them at all. And usually, if I don't get a bite within uh, one to two minutes, I'll reel it in and make another cast. When fishing with power bait, one of the key things to remember is you want to use enough weight in the split shot to be able to cast your bait under the falls. But you don't want to use too much because then you'll be more likely to get snagged underneath the rock or something like that. And if you guys are enjoying the tips in this video, 
Be sure to read the video description in this video and all my other ones because I include a lot of additional information that could uh, help you guys catch more fish. Let's go over some of my favorite baits I like to use while trout fishing. I normally start the day off with an inline spinner, something like one of these uh, Panther Martins, my favorite color, silver and gold. Occasionally I'll mix it up with something like a rooster tail in a uh, more colorful pattern. Next up are the uh, minnow imitations I like to use. Uh, small jerk bait or a small crank bait. This is an x wrap this is a Strike King Series uh, 1 I think. When I'm going for a bigger bite or fishing uh, murkier conditions, I'll usually uh, pull something like this out. And one of my favorite baits, but one of the more unusual ones I'd say, is a, a blade bait. You can fish them in deep water, shallow water, jig them off the bottom, and it's something that uh, a lot of trout fishermen don't throw. They like throwing spoons, but I very rarely see them throw uh, blade baits. So this is something that uh, really produces well for me that I like using. Next up we got the plastic. Got the uh, trout magnet, put on a little jig head, and uh, jig it off the bottom, you can swim it. Very good for clear water. And I didn't pull this one out today, but uh, this is kind of the same deal as the uh, trout magnet. I'll fish it on a, a small hook, size 6, size 8, size 10, with a little split shot and kind of just let it drift naturally with the current. And a lot of times I can get uh, bites on that. Last up, we got uh, my go-to if uh, all else fails, Berkeley Power Bait Natural Scent. I like this yellow color because I feel like it imitates uh, the color of pellets that uh, the, trout, the uh, farm-raised trout are fed. So uh, if all else fails, go with this, but be careful. The trout tend to swallow this bait and get gut hooked. So if you're planning on uh, catching and releasing the fish, I would go with uh, one of these other baits as opposed to this. 